Hey everybody, welcome to Castle Hives. Brian here. Today we are pulling these supers and we're going to use our Hillco extractor and extract some honey. Go ahead and grab these supers. So, oh. It's good the escape board worked. You can see right there the bees go through the hole and they can come out here. They don't know how to go back up. All right, let's get back over to the main apiary and let's spin this honey out. Hey everybody, so I'm going to go through this first colony and show you what I'm going to do. So there's two supers on each of these. I am going to uh, check and whatever frames are capped out and ready, those are going to get spun. Well, right there, look at that. Excellent, excellent. All right, you see here they're working on this. So... I'm probably going to end up leaving this super on them. Yeah, there's some weight on there already. This is all brand new. They're going to keep this super, okay, to finish that out. And then I'm going to get the bees off of this super here. So let me take care of that real quick, brush them out, and uh, let's move on down. Ugh. All right, everybody, full super of honey right here. Heavy, heavy. Probably, I don't know, it's around 30 pounds, I think. So I'm going to take this up to the building and uh, just move along. All right, everybody, let's see what uh, the Apame supers here show us. Um, now, all of these colonies across this front row, they are all brand new colonies from the end of April, beginning of May. All right, they are not in that super yet. Let's check. All right, I'm gonna shake those bees off of that super and then uh, get this back together. So hang on one second. Now, what I'll probably do, that way there's at least one super so if there's a little bit of a nectar flow, they can keep drawing out some frames. I will probably bring empties down here. Okay, so I need to get two empty frames. Let me go get those real quick, get this, get this hive back together, and then we'll move on up the line. All right. So All right, so everybody, this is my double nuke setup here. Um, I ended up supering this colony. Wow, is that filled? Is that filled? Now, I will say this. If you super a double nuke setup like this, make sure you put a queen excluder on. I don't normally tell people much as far as how to, because I just normally, you know, do what I do in my apiary. But this setup here, it is very key that you put a queen excluder on here. Now, the reason why you have a queen on this side and a queen on this side, let those queens get to one another. Look at that frame. <clears throat> Nothing coming out of it. Ah, 
that's a frame I could take. All right, everybody. So I got a full super out of this. So 10 frame. And we got eight others. So let's get to the extractor. Um, we got nine full supers. And I only had three colonies over winter. This one here has problems. So there was only two, you know, from last year, basically. All the others are brand new from this year. Um, I apologize for a couple girls that are hitting the mic, but let's get on into the honey building. I'm curious to get this extractor set up and uh, let's spin out some honey. So let's get in there. We are going to crack open, look at this, Hilco. I got a Hilco extractor. It is a nine frame motorized extractor. Same exact one that we're giving away uh, with the stream team on Wednesday. So if you're entered into that and you're watching this, this is what you're gonna get. So let me get this thing started. I'm just can't wait to open this thing up. So um, let's crack open these boxes. Now, I pretty much know what's in this box here. We've got the legs, okay? So, oh man, look at that. Ah, some good solid legs there. Let's see what else is in here. Boop. Oh, one of the, one of the rubber feet there. Let's pop that bugger on. So, this right here is the top. This is the motor. So let me be very careful with this just because I don't want to um, bust any of the plexi that's on here. Okay, now you'll notice that this is a top mounted uh, motor, but it also has a clip here that I really like because that, you know, it holds your lid up. So let me set this to the side right there. And let me get the main box open here. Um, let's lift that out. Don't think there's anything else in there, so I'm going to slide it off to the side. All right. So what was inside of this, uh, you have the cages here. So this will do nine mediums or three deeps, and these are the cages that you have to insert to run the deep. So I'm gonna set those off to the side for right now because I don't run uh, deeps. Um, it had the other side to the glass. Okay, now we had with the legs, uh, you know, a parts. Um, we had the bolts, so let me go ahead and get the legs attached to this thing. Should be very easy. Three legs. There's a couple bolts here. Um, and then I'm going to get it in place. And let's see this thing work. All right. Got it together. Um, you know, there's six bolts on it. Uh, there's the lock washers. Um, you know, very easy to go together. The top fit right on. Real nice. Uh, you have this extra... You know, plexi side that pops down. Um, this side over here, you have a nice little clamp that attaches onto that bolt, so that stays up. So real handy where you can, you know, slide your frames down in. As far as, you know, the motor, now I've done nothing with this. Now I, I wipe the inside down. You know, John does say you have to wipe the inside down. Um, but, you know, it ramps up real nice. Little knob here. Wow. Nice. Come on over, look at this. Look at this thing. So, let me get you situated back there. You know, you see this thing, um, it's running pretty smooth. You know, I'm gonna go ahead now, uh, extract a couple frames. I'm gonna run, you know, a couple supers through. Um, you know, I did wipe it out, so it's ready. Now, the spout in the front, it's high enough that I can put a bucket right under there and drain it right out 
filter, you know, run it through some filters just to filter out, you know, the big bits, you know, the big wax chunks, if there's any bug parts, stuff like that. But that's all I do as far as my honey. I don't process it, it's raw. Um, I run it with a certain micron size and I forget what it is. Um, so you still have the pollen and all of the beneficial properties to the honey. I don't heat it. I don't do anything like that because I want my honey raw. Um, so let me here, I'm going to ramp this thing down here. Wow, that's beautiful, beautiful. Let me start uncapping a couple frames and let's get this bugger, uh, let's, let's run it through a cycle. All right, y'all. Let's. Let's get some frames. Look at that frame right there. Beautiful. Now, all that I do here, look at this nice handy. And I've got a couple different tools here as far as decapping. Um, you know, I just run this down. Okay, well, I'm going to do a couple frames here, and then we're going to get the Hillco extractor loaded up, and we'll run it through and see what we get. So let me get it loaded up, and uh, we'll take her for a spin. All right, y'all. We are about to do our first run here on the Hillco. Um, you can see here, I got it loaded up. Uh, nine frames. Never been able to spin this many before. So I'm going to start it just real slow at first. All right, we got it turned on. Real slow. Oh, uh, I see. I see the honey is starting. Let me bring you in. set you up over here and let's run it through it's a little off balance um, a couple of the frames weren't as filled as the others but you know you'll have that my other extractor that I had that bugger that thing would walk clear across this floor in here so I'm sure as these frames equal out, it'll it'll run a little bit smoother. This is the first honey extraction of Castle Hives for 2022. All right, let me finish up this round here, and uh, I'll bring you all right back. Um, you know, everybody saw just the amount of work that you put into beekeeping, and it all comes down to this right here. Watch this. Look at that. Look at that. Man. Oh. Mm. oh my gosh. Wow. It's just nothing like your own honey. You know, you can get honey. I, I love everybody that has uh, sent me honey. Um, I love it all, but there's just something about when you spend the hours and hours um, and then you do this, there's just something about that. So, um, don't know what to say, you know, but uh, I'll tell you all, Hillco Extractor, um, again, congratulations to whoever is going to win this unit right here. It did really well its first run. Motor was super quiet. Uh, the construction of it, you know, 
I, I'm impressed. Compared to the extractor that I had before, I had a little three frame that I picked up off of uh, eBay, I think. Um, it spun, oh my gosh, I think it would take me about 15 minutes to do three frames. This thing here I did three times the amount in about the same amount of time. Um, I didn't have it loaded level. I had some frames that were off, so I didn't want it wobbling too much. But you see the amount of honey here, nine frames. Um, I, I had a total of nine supers um, that I got off of this spring harvest here, and that is a record here for, um, you know, uh, Castle Hive. So uh, I just want to say thank you to everybody that has been watching. Thank you to all of the new um, followers, new subscribers. Uh, just really uh, blown away with all the support. Um, I'm going to keep at this. It's just flowing. So you all take care. Um, I'll throw a little update as to the total that I get. And I'm curious as to the number of gallons. So um, nine supers. We'll see what I get. So uh, Y'all take care, and until the next one. Love that.